Greetings, my lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today, I'll be eating Belgium. So this beautiful package and my actual very first taste of Belgium was sent to me by longtime viewer Celine. Celine, thank you so much for sending me this package. I've been anticipating Belgium for a long time and finally, I get my very first taste. So Celine has been watching my videos for a long time now, way back when I lived in Japan and when I just started eating these country videos. So thanks, Celine, so much for sticking with me through the years. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started tasting. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm going to try are these. These look beautiful, and these are called Coubertins. These come from Celine's hometown of Ghent, and it translates literally to Ghent noses. <laughs> Love that. Here they are. Oh my gosh, look how charming they are. They're so cute. So charming. Has a little G on them. Let's give that a go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Hmm. These are most definitely candy. It has a bit of a crunch on the outside, and then as you chew it, it really softens and gets a bit chewy. And in terms of flavor, it is a bit like lingonberries mixed with elderberry and raspberry, blackberry, but a nice, clear, berried flavor but very, very sweet, and I would imagine very nostalgic. And I love the name Ghent Noses. How perfect is that? The next item I have are these, and these are called Snowballs. These are handmade by a Ghent chocolatier. I love that packaging. It's so charming with little plus signs on there and a little window to see the sweets. So here they are. They smell like a sweet shop. Vanilla and just sugary. All right, let's give that a go. Oh my gosh. What an amazing texture. I've never had anything like that before. This is an absolutely delightful experience. You put it in your mouth and it just has this soft texture that's fluffy and then immediately melts on your tongue and gives your mouth a slightly cooling sensation. And then the inside of your mouth is coated with just a little kiss of chocolate and sweetness. Delightful. So the next thing I'm gonna try are these. And these are speculoos. And these are made by the Lotus Company. So let me open them up. And look at that, aren't they lovely? So as Celine has noted, I have tasted a lot of European style gingerbreads, including a Dutch style speculoos. I actually made a recipe. If you're interested in that, I should put the link up there. But these are speculoos, which is the Belgian version. So I've actually had these before. One of the airplane carriers, I don't remember which, actually served these as a snack, and I love them. Mm-hmm, mm. -hmm. mm. A delicious, light, and crispy cookie that has a bit of spice in there. Nice and sweet, but not overly so. Just begs for dipping into tea. And if I were to think of a US analogy, I would think of windmill cookies, which probably had their origins in Europe, hence the shape of the windmill, hence the embossing. But very, very similar flavor of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, the windmill cookies often contain a little bit of slivered almond in there as well. I don't believe these have any nuts in them, but a scrumptious, crisp, and very, very satisfying tea biscuit cookie. Love these. So along with the cookie, Celine also sent me this. And this is also made by Lotus, and this is a spread. So Celine tells me that this is a relatively new invention in Belgium, but it's been very, very, very popular. I've also seen this in the US, and from what I can tell on the spacing on the shelves, it seems to be very popular here as well, but I've actually never had it. So I've got a little bit of bread here. It smells just like the cookie. It has a little bit of a gritty texture to it. Nice color. Ooh, I think I'm going to like this. Mm-hmm. Mm. And that is great. I really wasn't expecting it to have the texture it has. It has a little bit of a crunch to it, a little bit of a kind of crystalline crunch to it. Although it does look like it has the consistency of peanut butter, it's much crunchier, but not with peanuts, but of kind of almost like cookie crystals in there. It's a really delightful crunch, sweeter than the cookie, but it needs to be because you're having it spread on bread or toast. Phenomenal. And this is a can of cod liver. Looks like it's served with red onion and hard boiled eggs. So Celine also concluded some Melba toast to have some of this cod liver on there. Sounds perfect. 
Oh, the Melba toasts are so nicely packaged. We have five individually wrapped servings. Delicate little crisp. So I've never actually had cod liver before, although I've had cod liver capsules, which doesn't really count. But anyways, let's give this a go. Ooh, it's filled with oil. Ooh, look at that. It has a great kind of pink color to it. And it smells a bit like canned tuna fish. Nice. Now I'm gonna take a, oh my gosh, it has such a soft texture. Just buttery. Oh gosh, look at that, wonderful. I'm just gonna spread it, oh my goodness, it's like pate. It just spreads really nicely. Oh boy, this looks marvelous. That's delicious. It has such a wonderful texture. It's slightly gelatinous, smooth, just ever so smooth and soft in texture. It does have quite a strong fishy flavor, but it's not at all unappealing and actually goes really, really well with the fine, smooth texture of it. I also like the fact that it's not overly salty. It has a nice kind of minerally calcium flavor to it. I would totally serve this as an appetizer with a thinnest slice of red onion, a little squeeze of lemon juice, and a bit of dill on top. Amazing. Mmm. So this melba toast is the perfect delivery mechanism for this cod liver oil. Its crispness really complements the smooth, smooth texture of the cod liver oil. And this contains some sesame seeds for some extra nuttiness. Again, heightening and complementing the smokiness of the cod liver. So, so good. The next item I'm gonna try are these. And these are called matinets. So I had something similar to this. I believe I had it in Norway. I'll have to look it up, but I shall put the link up here if you're interested. And these are very, very thin wafers of chocolate to be served on bread. And if you know me at all, any means of chocolate is okay in my book. All right, oh, look at that, they're so cute. Oh, this is so smart. Look at that beautifully thin wafer of chocolate. Beautiful, shiny. Snap a piece of that, and then you just place it onto your bread. So neat and tidy, no spreading, nothing, no chopping. All right. Mm hmm. That's all I need for dessert. That's all I need. A little piece of bread, thin, snappy, crisp chocolate bar on top. Perfection. This is really milky. It tastes a bit like condensed milk, but it has a good chocolate flavor. I think what I love most about this is the texture. I love that the chocolate bar is crisp and thin and you get that sensation of biting through it. And then you get the chewy bread underneath. Fantastic. So while we're on the subject of chocolate and bread, why not try a spread? <laughs> and this one looks wonderful. This is Meli Choco. Is This is a combination of chocolate and honey, yay! If you follow me on social media at all, you probably already know that I have been keeping bees for the very first time. And you can follow my exploits in my bee vlogs. I should put a link up there. And it has been so much fun. So if you're at all on the fence about keeping bees, I totally encourage you to do it because it's brought me so much joy, just absolute joy. All right, enough about bees, let's try this. So look at that beautiful foil. So let's pop that open. I love that dark, rich color. I'm gonna use the rest of my bread from earlier. Oh, look, it has the glorious pull of honey too. Look at that. All right, let's spread that on here. All right, let's give that a go. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Boy, that's nice. It is very, very sweet, but there is very clear chocolate flavor to that. I'm gonna try some just plain. Mmm. If we were to compare this to another very famous chocolate spread, Nutella, 
That one to me has more of a vanilla, milky, and of course, very sweet flavor. This is more about the chocolate to me. And I believe you can detect a bit of a honey flavor in there as well. Delicious. My sons are gonna love this. <laughs> so this wouldn't be a proper Belgian taste test if we didn't try waffles. So this is a Belgian waffle. There it is. So I didn't know this, but Celine tells me there are two very popular types of waffles. One is the liege waffle, which is this one, and it's denser and more sugary. And the other, which is her favorite, you can only eat frozen or fresh, is the Brussels waffle. And it is incredibly light and crispy, but I will make my way to Belgium someday and have one for myself. Celine says to eat this properly, you must toast this thoroughly so you can get some of that crispness that happens. All right, I'm gonna go pop this into the toaster. Toast, my darling, toast. These are actually one of my favorite cookies. I buy these all the time. I love these cookies. And these are almond cookies. Almond brood. They come packaged like this in a little twin pack. So this packaging is actually very smart because these cookies are very thin and crisp and you never want them to get soggy. Here they are. You can see sliced almonds in there. And they're so thin you can actually see light shining through them. I love these cookies. They're one of my favorite cookies in the world. Buttery, and as you can hear, crisp, with a great hint of nutty almond in there. They're very sweet, but because they're so thin and so petite, a little goes a long way. These are also my favorite cookies to have with tea. Just dip them ever so slightly in tea and they soften and the butter warms up and just, just wonderful. Mm. Thank you, Celine. All right, let me go get my waffle. And there she is, folks, look at that. Just imagine a donut shop drizzled in melted butter. And you know, <laughs> something like this it smells amazing. All right, let's give this a taste. Oh boy, where have I been my entire life? My gosh, I have to make these. These are amazing. They have a delicious yeasty flavor to them, so they're nice and complex, but very, very sweet. You need no syrup for this at all. What I find most delightful about this waffle is its texture. The waffle itself has a nice chew to it, but there are also little bits of crystal sugar in there. So as you're biting it, you get this crunchy texture. Mm-hmm. And the whole thing seems to be enrobed in a little bit of sweetness too, kind of like a glazed donut. It has that kind of crackly texture on the outside of it. This is incredible. Mm-hmm. Imagine if you took a bear claw and pressed it in a waffle, remove the cinnamon, and you would have something like this. Oh, and add a little bit of crispy sugar texture in there. Then you'd have something like this. And this is a store-bought version. Can you imagine how amazing homemade would be? Um, nom, nom, nom. Um, these are little cigarettes. They're called cigaretten. Celine says she used to buy these as a child for five francs before the Euro came around. And they would have competitions to see who could make the sharpest point with their cigarette. I remember doing that with Candy Kings as a kid. So let's give that a taste. These do look like cigarettes, a little bit wider in diameter with a bit of pink in the inside. Mmm. Tastes like a nice little raspberry hard candy. Let's see if I can bite it at all. Mmm. And when you bite it, you definitely get more pronounced raspberry flavor and it's a little bit more tangy, but yeah, delightful little hard candy. Let's finish things off with this. These are little locally made mints and they're often given to you when you receive your bill at a restaurant. Love that. There's a little bee. I think it's a bee. It says Treffen. The candy itself is kind of oblong shaped and clear. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very nice, clean, pepperminty flavor. Mm-hmm. I like that the mint has a good heft to it. It's not tiny. It's not trying to be diminutive or polite. All right, so that wraps up my taste of Belgian. Celine, thank you so much for sending me my very first taste of Belgium. It was absolutely delightful. I felt like I shared a little bit of your childhood as well. 
And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Be sure to subscribe, share this video with your friends, and follow me on social media. And I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>